In the Bill Roth 1 operation, the distal stomach is anastomose directly to the duodenum, end to end. In the Bill Roth 2 operation, the proximal end of the duodenum is first closed. The distal stomach is then anastomosed to the proximal jejunum, normally end to side. Finally, a side to side anastomosis is made between the jejunum and distal duodenum to facilitate the supply of bile and pancreatic juice. Of the stomach. A smaller stomach makes the patient feel full faster and therefore makes it easier to reduce the amount of food intake. Roux Y Gastric Bypass This is the most commonly performed bariatric surgical procedure and is considered the gold standard for weight loss treatment. The procedure involves two steps. Step 1. The stomach is divided into two parts. One small pouch at the top of the stomach where it is connected to the esophagus and the rest of the stomach, which will be bypassed. The two parts are separated and stapled. Step 2. Rerouting of the intestine. The intestine is cut at about 45 centimeters or 18 inches down from the edge of the stomach. The first part of the intestine, the duodenum, will be bypassed. The top end of the second part, the jejunum, is pulled up and connected to the gastric pouch created in step 1. The lower end of the duodenum is reconnected to the jejunum at a lower point. The new configuration has a shape of a Y, hence the name of the procedure. How is weight loss achieved? Firstly, the volume of the stomach is now greatly reduced to a small pouch, usually less than 10% of the original volume which is filled up fast after a small amount of food intake. This sends a signal to the brain that the stomach is full and generates a feeling of fullness or satiety. This helps to reduce the amount of food intake. Secondly, as the first part of the intestine, the duodenum, is bypassed, the amount of nutrition absorbed by the body is greatly reduced. In normal digestion, this is where most of the nutrition is absorbed. Malabsorption contributes to weight loss effect. Complications While this procedure is proven as an efficient long-term weight loss treatment, it associates with significant complication risks. These include leakage along the staple lines and surgical connections leading to infection and abscess formation. Stricture and obstruction of the digestive tract due to scar formation. Dumping syndrome, nutritional deficiencies, and other general surgical risks due to 